We reached Pamplona at night. The city was a mess. People were dancing, singing and shouting everywhere. Everything happened so fast, I couldn't think through why I was taking part in this wild tradition. I had a bad feeling about it, but I didn't turn back. At night we checked the bulls. They seemed to be calm, unlike me. Before the running, we got only one advice. If you fall, stay on the ground. Don't stand up. The bulls always jumps over you. Next morning, I was standing frightened at the start of the race, among old locals, drinking their coffee and reading the morning news. Then we heard a shot and the madness started. I didn't care about anybody, I was just running. Then in a corner I slipped. Without thinking of the advice, I stood up immediately. I only remember the black bull's head in my face. Everything else just disappeared. When I came back to my senses, my head was hurting and I had a scar on my leg. I went to sleep. Later my friends woke me up. They didn't say a word. Just led me to a local shop with the photos of the running in the window. I was in one of the pictures upside down in the air. When I saw the pictures, I thanked myself for not listening to the advice to stay down. Where I slipped, the bull slipped as well. And if I had been stayed on the ground, the bulls would have fallen on me and probably I wouldn't be alive today. I bought a picture to remember. Once I listened to my instinct rather than my mind and it probably saved my life. I also brought home a morning newspaper with the bull who flipped me in the air, philosopher. I felt sorry for him. He was just defending himself from the mad crowd. But he had no choice like me. He had to die that day.